The first day I got there, 10th floor, cutting rooms facing Broadway. Um, I, I knew I was in heaven. I mean, I didn't even know Dee Dee Allen that well. I mean, I knew her, because she interviewed me. But uh, uh, I'll give you a, a story that I always tell. May I? May I? When I was a kid living here in New York, uh, my parents, like maybe once a month, would take us, my sister and I, take us out for dinner. And most often we went to uh, somewhere around a restaurant around Times Square. Because for my sister and I, Times Square with all the lights and the, uh, and the active signs, the steaming uh, tea cup and uh, smoke rings and all of that and the, the neon and all of that stuff was dazzling. I mean, especially for kids at night. And that was my and my sister's uh, uh, Disneyland. <laughs> and my favorite sign, my favorite movable sign, was a Johnny Walker sign, again, on 59th Street, uh, on 49th Street, uh, 48th, 49th on Broadway. That was this um, action sign where the Johnny Walker, the, uh, the uh, dandy, walking, there was one arm and one leg that moved. And that was my favorite sign, uh, the scotch, Johnny Walker scotch. And when I walked into Dee Dee Allen's cutting room, out the window, <laughs> there was that sign, right in front of me, 10th floor. I mean, I was, I was up. And somehow, I don't, I don't believe in that kind of spiritual happening, but I do tell this story, I've told it so many times, that I sometimes wonder if somebody wasn't watching me because from that point on, uh, it was wonderful. I mean, the 120 or 30 odd years that I've spent in that cutting room, <laughs> no matter which decade, have been uh, you know, wondrous for me.